Yo, what's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is enjoying Primo while we still have them. There was a little bit of a leaks of a balance change. I don't know if this is 100% guaranteed, but apparently they are going to be nerfing Primo's um, second star power. So this might be the last chance we have at it. So we're going to play some Brawl Ball. I'm going to try and teach you guys how to become a Primo god in this video. It's just going to be me playing some games kind of going over what I'm doing right, if I do something wrong, what I do wrong, and I'm just going to let you guys know, and hopefully by the end of this video, you guys are going to see enough to become a Primo Master and be able to push Primo as much as you want. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's see what we can teach you guys. Now before we get into the games, I just want to congratulate Ebro, Xver, and Skan on winning my giveaway. So DM me either on Instagram, on Twitter, or on Discord. Let me know, give me some proof that it is you guys who commented on my video where I did the friends list giveaway. Prove to me that you're liked, prove to me that you're subscribed, and you know, you're gonna be on the friends list. So congratulations for winning. Please reach out to me as I have no way to reach out to you guys, and I will give you guys your prize. So let's get into the games here. Okay, so here we go into the first game. I'm going to be going up against a Primo, a Jesse, and a Leon. And my first tip when playing Primo is when you have his super, always to try and go for somebody who has over 5k HP. And the reason being is because you'll get your super right back. So when you jump on someone, you're basically guaranteed to get a kill, obviously, because Primo's strength is being right on top of somebody. And, you know, if you jump on them, you're likely to get the kill unless it's like a Shelly or something, like a Tara with a pull or something. So if they have 5k HP or over, just jump on them. You guys can see this Primo has his super over 5k HP. So if I get that kill, I will be able to charge my super right back. Gonna wait for him to land, jump on him, got my super right back as I said. We almost got the kill, doesn't matter, we're gonna pick up the ball and walk forward. We can just jump on this uh, Leon over here, won't do much because Leon has extremely high DPS, but they probably would have scored if we didn't do too much damage. Although Toonie isn't really doing too much. Oh, really good defense over there by David. We're gonna take out this turret. I don't recommend you go and try and take out turrets on a normal basis because it's super hard. Uh, you're just basically feeding at the end of the day, but in that situation I had to. So again, we're just going to go for this turret, going to go for the Jesse as well, finish off the kill. And again, we have over 6k HP, we have our jumps, we're going to jump right onto that Primo, trying to juke its moves a little bit. Um, our teammates did hit him a little bit, that's why we don't have our super back. But we're going to get this ball and try and tank a little bit. You guys can see David broke the walls, so we're just going to put that one in the net, going to give us the one to nothing lead. Now, obviously, you want to go towards good matchups, so Primo and Primo is a good matchup. If you can get close to a Jesse, obviously that's a good matchup but you mainly just want to stay close to something that won't do too much dps so leon isn't the best best matchup but you could make it work as you guys can see leon is just able to stay far away from me and when it gets close the dps is able to kill me i'm able to jump on the leon at the end pick up the kill david's gonna give me the ball we're gonna put that one in the net and that's gonna give us our first win so we didn't show a lot about primo scoring we talked a lot about matchups and how to use this super effectively uh, we're going to hop into the next game. I'm going to try my best to show you guys how you guys want to be goal scoring. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys how to do it. So here we go into the second game. We're facing a Shelly, a Rosa, and a Crow. So the best matchup for us is trying to go as close as possible to the Rosa as possible. Um, so we're just chilling here against this Rosa. We're going to be able to pick up the kill. Usually you'll be able to pick up the kill on the Rosa. The Rosa even hit us first. We were able to pick up a kill. David and Toonie are going to do a great job. They're going to be able to score. But obviously try and avoid the Shelly as much as possible. You guys can see we're one shot until we get our super. We're going to try and just stay away from that Shelly. Going to pass the ball forward. Get our jump. Jump right over here. Oh, huge misplay by us. That should have been such an easy goal, but we didn't break the wall. So that's something that you guys don't want to do. Make sure you guys hit the wall. I went for like a high skill play where I try and throw the ball, get my super and jump, but I rushed a little bit too much. Always make sure you're breaking that wall. That is number one priority. Um, so again, stay away from the Shelly. You also don't want to really match yourself up against the Crow, but the Crow just got way too close to us that time, so we weren't able to get the kill. Not sure if the Rosa knows we're here or not. Okay, it does. So that's probably going to lead us to a death. We are able kind of just to run away and stay alive ever so ever so close to dying though. So this crow is going to be able to get that shot off on us. I'm going to push this ball up, try and charge super off of Shelly. Close, but we weren't able to do it. Toonie's going to break the wall over there. This is a little bit of a tough matchup since we don't really counter anybody. Um, mostly just bad matchups, but we're trying to make do. We're very close to, her, to our super, so hopefully we can get this. David's going to miss that pull over there. Shelly did just use super, so she's probably a little bit further away from super than normal. So we're able to attack him, or her I should say, get him low. We're going to jump on this Rosa, over 5k HP, so we should get our super back. 
We are low HP here. David probably should have passed us the ball, but Tooney isn't a bad option. Gonna go for the trick shot. He's gonna miss. But that is fine. Primo's a really good goal scorer, so if you see your Primo with super, definitely try and give him the ball. Gonna move forward here. The Shelly's gonna try and super us. We're gonna put it forward. Nothing happened with that, but we're fine. Just gonna retreat as long as we didn't die. Tooney with a really good clip over there. Shelly's gonna try and push forward. We're not gonna let it come close though. She just used her band-aid. Gonna give her the ball and bait her super. We weren't able to bait it, but she did go down over there. Just gonna bring the ball up. Gonna jump onto this Rosa. Gonna be able to pick up that kill. Really easy. Tooney's gonna pass us the ball. Let's go for a trick shot maybe. Oh, we weren't able to get it in. So that really wasn't the best game for us. I don't know if we're gonna get star or not. Probably not because we didn't do too much. Yeah, Tooney was able to get the star. But that's more of a game where you guys don't want to do. So you guys saw a mistake that I made where you don't want to jump um, and rush it. You definitely want to break the wall. Super is super important. But you did see a couple times us jumping on the Rosa and getting the super back. You guys definitely want to do that. Again, if they're above 5k HP. So if you can jump on a Nita, even a bull sometimes. But you don't want to go too, uh, too close to that bull. You want to be in the distance where you can hit the punch. But where his bull can't hit every single pellet from his shot. Um, literally everything above 5k HP outside of a Shelly jump on and you likely will be able to get the kill so let's hop into the next game again hopefully we get some good matchups and let's get into it okay so we're facing a rico a primo and i didn't see what else we were facing unfortunately a mortis okay so we have pretty good matchups here I'm gonna try and hit that primo it was able to get super before me since i was just kind of checking what was in the grass but we're probably gonna be able to get that kill okay it was close but the primo did use its jump didn't get a kill on us so that's fine Gonna walk up over here. And again, just try and gain position. The closer we are, obviously, the better. Good pull over there by David. That's gonna be able to get us our super. Tooney's gonna give us that ball, and I'm not gonna use my super. I'm just gonna put the ball in the net and save my super for this next play over here. So I can see the primos on the on the right. Gonna find an open area over there. Use that jump. The ball is in the open. I wasn't just spamming auto aim. That's very important. When you jump and you don't know where everything is, don't just spam auto aim. Because odds are you could have picked up the ball, had an open net, and then just auto aimed it to another direction. Figure out where everything is first. Be patient. Patience is definitely very important. You guys see we're able to make a play there. And that's how you want to score goals. Let's hop into the fourth game and let's see if we can repeat the same thing. So here we go into the next match. And again, we have three really good matchups over here. BB, Mortis, and a... Uh, and a primo so we're able we're going to be able to do a lot this game we're going to stay away from that mortis or sorry not that mortis the bb knockback we're probably going to go down here gave the other primo super well we don't have it the primo is going to jump doesn't have speed though so we're going to stay alive we're going to be able to get that kill over there and really good clips over there by toonie we're likely to go down but that's fine we were already low hp we have this com completely defended and we're able to pick up our super so we're gonna go up all four, all three opponents on the other team. If we jump on and they're at full HP and we get all the kill, we will get our super back. So that's super important. I'm gonna jump on this Primo over here, and I'm gonna use my speed to run as far as I can, take that shot, and we're gonna be able to score the first goal. So one to nothing for us currently. I'm gonna walk up over here. Same strategy. Try and get our super. We're able to charge our super off the mortis above 5k HP on this primo, so we're gonna be able to get that kill, and we're gonna get the BB down. Um, Tooney's just gonna go for the trick shot. He's gonna miss it, but that would have been a goal. We were able to kill all three, and even though we did go down to the BB, we left her at like 1k HP, so it's fine. Gonna move up over here. Already halfway charged to our next super. Gonna pick off the ball on that pass attempt from the mortis. Gonna try our best to charge our super over here. Gonna be able to charge it. We have the ball back. And again, we're just gonna go for another goal. So we're gonna play the ball over there, jump on that ball and put it in the net. And that's going to be another goal. So again, just put into an open area where you can break the walls or if you don't, or if the wall's already broken, just an open area, land on that ball as soon as possible and put it in the net. We're gonna do one more game here. Let's see if we can get two goals this game. Let's hop into it. And let's try and teach you guys how to become the godly primo. So here we go into our last final game. Nita and Poco, again, really good matchups for Primo as they're not high DPS, but they're also not long range. So we're gonna try and get as close as possible. We're gonna try and avoid that Colt though. So we're just gonna try and sneak up this side over here. Didn't work out too well. We're gonna go down, but we did get at least one punch in on both of them. So we charged a tiny bit of our super, but that wasn't the greatest start for us. So we're just gonna move up this right side. I guess we're gonna go onto the Nita over here. Just gonna try and juke our way towards the Nita. 
Let's see, we got a free shots off on the Poco. Well, not a free shots, some free shots off on the Poco. David's gonna go for the pull. Box in the way, so that pull is not gonna end up working out. We're gonna help David with this bear and take it out over there. Looks like their Colt is right beside the ball, so we will be able to get close to it. The Colt is almost gonna be able to take us out, but he won't be able to. We're gonna try and run away from that Nita. We are successfully gonna be able to do so. And it looks like the ball is actually just chilling over there. So we're gonna go and break these walls and head right towards that Poco. Again, the HP, so we're gonna be able to get our super back. Gonna jump on the Colt, do the exact same thing, and go towards the Nita and get that kill. So that's going to be a goal for us. We got the triple kill over there and we're going in so far. Every wall is broken, which isn't actually ideal for us. But it's fine. We're one punch away from super. We're able to get that punch off. We're going to put the ball right over there. Going to go for the jump play. Oh, if we landed on the ball, we missed it by a tiny bit. If we landed on the ball, it would have been a goal. But either way, still not a bad play. Good kill over there by that Colt. And we're just going to try and do the same thing as before. Maybe this time we're going to go for a kill instead of going for goals since it is way too wide open for us to do much. Everything is way, way too open. That's what happens when you play with two Colts. One on your team, one on the other team. We're going to take out the spare over here. David's going to go for the pull. He is going to be able to hit the double pull. We are super low over here. Not much room to escape. Good pinching over there by the other team, which is definitely, this map is definitely beneficiary for them. We're not doing much over here. So 30 seconds left. Um, still enough time for both them and us to score, obviously. I'm going to go close to that. Not going to be able to do much, but we're going to be able to get a good amount of supercharge over there. 30, or sorry, not 30, 20 seconds left. They have a really strong push coming. Ooh, and they're going to be able to score with 15 seconds left. So obviously Primo is not good in overtime. We're definitely going to have to try and juke our way towards them here. Going to use this box to try and get as close as possible. There's going to be a bear here, so we're just going to take that out before overtime starts. And here we go. We're going to push this Primo, or this Nita over here. We're going to be able to charge our super, so as long as our team can hold off, which I definitely assume they're able to, we're going to have a shot at a goal with our super. So we're going to move up over here. Uh, Toonie is going to go down, but that doesn't appear to be a problem. Going to move forward. They have a bear spawning. Good pull over there by David to knock the ball off of the Poco. The Nita is one shot. We're going to move forward over here. And we're just going to jump onto that Nita and then collapse onto the Poco with our speed. We are going to be able to get the kill. We're also going to be able to kill the Poco. So we're just waiting on David to pass the ball up. He's going to pass it up. We're going to give it to Toonie since Toonie has super. Oh, he's going to miss and he's going to auto aim it right to the Poco actually. So again, a really big missed opportunity over there. David looks like he's likely to go down. We're going to do a little bit of juking. We're going to jump onto that Poco over there. We're going to try and kill that uh, Nita. We are going to be able to. We're going to go down. Toonie's going to clear the ball. Three seconds left. David's going to pull and this one's going to end up in a tie. So we didn't get the win unfortunately, but we made a few good plays that game. And that's going to end the video. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is definitely a kind of like a semi guide on how to become a god primo. I'm definitely going to be working on a brawl ball guide. Um, one of the comments just made me realize, you know, brawl balls 24-7. It is the most popular 3v3 mode. And there isn't really any professional guides out there about how to become a godly brawl ball player. So I'm definitely going to get these that out in the upcoming days. Um, congratulations to the winner of the friends list giveaway. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be back with another one tomorrow. Peace.